I'm just asking for a friend here, but is Prince Harry now threatening to take down Prince William with a spare sequel? Hey up everyone, it's me, Steph, the Alter Nerd, your nerdy alternative, and welcome to another dose of the Daily Nerd, why break down the royal news and gossip of the day that's pretty much caught me eye, and oh my goodness, yeah, let's jump into this madness, shall we? Now, we do know a couple of years ago, uh, when Hazard did release his book, Spare, the original, the OG, the first one, otherwise known as Wah. He did an interview with The Telegraph, uh, with Bryony Gordon, saying that there's enough for another book, uh, saying that he cut his mem memoir in half to spare his family. Now, since then, most recently, he's turned round to the High Court uh, in his latest fight against news group newspapers, which is owned by Rupert Murdoch, and turned round and said, uh, yeah, there are no drafts of spare left. I deleted them all, blah, blah, blah. So um, if there's no drafts uh, because they were all deleted, how is there enough for another book, you may ask? Well, more recently, oh my goodness, yes, there are royal experts coming out of the woodwork, turning around and saying that Prince Harry would actually do it again and that he's now open to writing a sequel to Memoir Spare after Prince William becomes king. So, again, I'm just asking for a friend. With this new headline now coming out, is Prince Harry actually threatening to take down Prince William with a spare sequel? I'll give you the information. You guys can decide on this. But already he is said to be planning the sequel to Spare uh, to release when Prince William ascends to the throne. Um, now, as we know, he released his book Spare last year in January 2023. Embarrassing personal details, pretty much about every member of the royal family, including, yes, Prince William. Uh, but speculation that Spare 2.0 is on its way uh, went into overdrive after Andrew Lau who's a royal author, pointed out that Spare contained noticeable gaps possibly to be revisited in a second tell-all book, which would make sense when Hazard turned around and said that he cut his memoir in half to spare his family. So these noticeable gaps... Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, it's what Prince Hazard is saving, opinion conspiracy theory, whatever, for Spare 2.0. Now... Uh, Kinsey Schofield suspects that Hazard is up for writing another book about the royal family, but she suspects that he'll likely wait until after King Charles passes away and Prince William becomes king and ascends to the throne. So she says on a Kinsey Schofield unfiltered podcast this week, quote, I do think he would write about his family again. He was waiting to publish a book after Queen Elizabeth II passed away. Originally, they were saying there was going to be another publication after his grandmother died. I suspect that maybe he would release a book after his father passed away. Now, he, she says, look, he's going to do this, especially if Prince William continues to keep him at arm's length. Because what would the repercussions be if Prince William pushed you out of the fold? And this is the thing, right? It all comes amid claims that Megzi will never, ever allow Prince Hazard to actually apologise to the royal family for what he said in Spain, as far as I'm concerned, for what he's also said in numerous, numerous interviews and that mockumentary on Netflix, Hazard and Megzi, right? So reports are that Hazard is all for apologising to the royal family. But, oh, wouldn't you know, Nick? Apparently Megzi's stopping him, right? And so D.D. Dunleaver, who's a royal commentator, told Sky News Australia host Rita Panahi on Wednesday saying how he is not going to apologise, at least not while he's still with Meghan. I really do believe he does her bidding and she's never going to allow him to apologise to the family. Now, in particular, we all know, as per the reports coming through, that King Charles is very aggrieved with Prince Hazard, especially with the comments that he made against Queen Camilla. And apparently he's specifically wanting an apology for everything that he said wrong against his wife, Queen Camilla. Is that going to happen? 
I'm not going to hold my breath. Are you guys? But this is a thing, right? Why wait? Why wait? If he's got a spare sequel, sequel 2.0, right? Why wait until King Charles passes away and Prince William ascends to the throne? I mean, let's call a spade a spade here, right? Prince Hazard, he made millions on that first book of spare, right? You'd think that he'd want to try and replicate that as quick as possible, regardless if King Charles is still with us or not, right? So why wait? Why wait until King Charles has passed away and Prince William ascends to the throne? Now, you've got one side that I can imagine turning around and saying, well, he wants to save his dad all the trouble and all the hassle and all the stress that he had with the first spare and not let him go through it again with the spare sequel. And so to spare him, right, and wait until he passes away to then release Spare 2.0. Let's be real, that could be one argument, right? Another argument could be, a bit of conspiracy theory whatever, that Hazard could actually be waiting to release Spare 2.0 until after King Charles has passed away for when Prince William ascends to the throne, threatening to take him down once he's ascended to the throne by using the sequel of Spare. Right? So I ask you guys the question, is Prince Hazard threatening to take down Prince William once he ascends to the throne with a spare sequel? I'll tell you, Summer, something's not right with this picture. I'll tell you that right now. And this is the thing, right? We have at the Wanton Wrench on Twitter saying the following that I thought actually was a pretty good point. So Prince Harry is now resorting to blackmail to achieve his goals. But what more does he think he can possibly reveal? He's been spewing his bile for years. And to be honest, most of it has been thoroughly debunked to the point where nothing he says is believable. I would say, yeah, nothing he says is believable anymore. I definitely agree with that part of the statement, that's for sure. But that ain't going to stop him from releasing a spare sequel if a bitty conspiracy theory or whatever, it's going to bring him and Megzi extra millions that... They need right now, as far as I can tell. But do you think that by him releasing the spare sequel or even threatening to do that, that Hazard is resorting to blackmail? And furthermore, with everything that I've just gone through in this video, do you think that Prince Hazard is threatening to take down Prince William once he ascends to the throne with a spare sequel? With that being said... Enough with me. It's now with you guys. If you appreciated this video and you want more, and believe me, of course, there's going to be more, then make sure you subscribe to join our Alt and Nerd tribe because I'll be honest with you. Help us now get to a million so we can also get that gold play button right there and hopefully cause a Meghan Markle meltdown on Instagram. Like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories, whatever. Also, as well, if you've got some very strong opinions about my question, and I bet you do, then make sure you send me a super thanks. It's just below this video right here. We can have a conversation about this because it does guarantee a response from me and until the next time you guys laters